My name is Taylor Swick. I am a, an artist in Phoenix, Arizona, and I was born here and basically lived here my entire life. I basically got started uh, painting when I was in grade school, middle school, just in the art classes uh, that they provided for us at school. I really loved it. I started doing it at home. Uh, actually, I got some Christmas presents of some paints, an easel, and a few canvases when I was really young. I did a couple of terrible, terrible pieces of art at that point, and then gave it up for a while. And it wasn't until I cleaned out my uh, closet in my childhood bedroom that I found those terrible pieces and decided that I could do better took it up again and since about 1999 I've been painting and selling my works. I, uh, I think that it was really in college that I started actually producing a larger quantity of art, uh, started painting pieces closer together, I wasn't taking as much time off and I really think that with the sheer amount of works that I was producing at that point, I started to refine my techniques and really uh, understand what I was, what directions I was wanting to start in at least. Uh, many of my pieces at this point are still all over the place. I don't really follow one set guideline of how I paint or uh, subject that I paint about. So um, as some of my work demonstrates, I'm kind of schizophrenic about what I paint, if you will, and so I think that it's always a learning process for me. Everything I do is, is either great in my mind or sometimes it needs some refining and I'll, you know, repaint or I'll scrap a piece altogether, so. Uh, art is a great way of relaxing for me. I do it when I'm sitting in front of the TV a lot of times and it's a great way to pull myself away from the stress of law and life. I have a couple of bigger series that I've done. Uh, for example, I do American flag paintings and uh, I've kind of done a few that are deconstructing the American flag, showing the flag in a different way. Uh, there have been quite a few artists that have done similar things. Jasper Johns has done that before. Uh, and I like to kind of emulate those, those works, but also I tie in, I attempt to tie in statements to my work uh, about what the, the political climate is in America, what people really see in America from outside of the country and within. Another example of one of the styles of work that I do is right behind me, it's called Frontal Cortex and it's inspired by uh, Jackson Pollock's work. I've done quite a few pieces that have some Pollock uh, type imagery in them and uh, I have another series of animals that involves that same kind of thing. I've had a few exhibitions that, I, that have been up recently and I uh, have had great success with those. I'm starting a new collection of pieces for some upcoming shows in the new year and I look forward to uh, the success of those shows as well. And I really look forward to having uh, new people come and visit my website, check out my art, see what I'm all about see all the different works that I have. It, my website is www.artallcentro.com and I look forward to more exposure through my website and through my works up around the valley.